So, uh, I'm gonna call this stage four. I think the one on the bottom left is a little easier, but I'm gonna go this way, because otherwise I'm not making the counterclockwise journey. I was trying to set them up to play them in order from easiest to hardest, but it didn't really work out, I don't think. I can't use that. I need $50 or 50 cents or 50 yen, whatever it is. I don't even know. Oh, there we go. This level is only annoying for one reason. Have you guessed what it is? It's those rocks. <laughs> They're really annoying. They're really, really annoying. I guess the idea is that when you're when you're when it's covered you're safe so you want to run past but it doesn't really translate that well. I'm either going to go AAA or AAB here. I don't I think I already did A out both of those so I don't know. Oh, and look, you also the game changes the rule and every other enemy you can duck under the bullets but not this one even though it's the same height as all the other enemies and you, because all the characters are the same height except for, like, two of them. I don't get it. I guess this this is the one rare uh, enemy that knows how to point the gun down. I don't... Maybe is that I got a hunchback? I don't know. But, uh... I mentioned this stage is really annoying, right? Because this stage is really annoying. I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out like a discernible pattern, but I guess the only tip that I could give, that's the end of that nonsense. I don't know if falling down there kills you, but I don't want to risk it. Let's go with three A's. Only tip I can give is, you see where I am now? A rock could fall from there, but it won't. But I think that's the end of the rocks, to be honest. I don't remember. This robot sucks. Also, I can't go back and heal. You can only use the health stations once. Doesn't that suck? This robot, you might as well not even have it. It's not going to do anything for me now. At this point in the game. Or on this stage, I should say. It's not really going to... Here, it might help a little. Yeah, that helped a little. This guy, you can duck under the bullet. If I was just using the robot that I always use, this would all be easier. I'm making it harder on myself by trying out the different kinds of robots. This guy's about to die. That's not a boss. This is a Mega Man type door. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, this game's got like this weird uh, gravity dynamic. And it even goes into the boss fight. The boss here is probably the coolest boss in this game. He's quite easy, but... Uh, the weird thing about the gravity in this game is... It's not really... It's hard to explain. Like, sometimes jumping will make you stick to the roof. Sometimes it'll make you stick to the opposite side. Sometimes, like, here I th think I can jump. It's that way at the end of the game, where if you jump, you can land on the roof and go the opposite way, but it's not always, and there's no consistent rule to it. I don't know. Here, I guess it's with the doors. When the door changes, that means... Whatever. Oh, snow. I made it over. I think if they made a version of this game where you had had to finish it on one continue would be a lot more challenging and fun because uh, having multiple continues plus the health power-ups and all that it makes it a little too easy even though I complain it's too hard it's really not it's it's a little too easy because um, mostly if anything's in your way see here oh I think it might be these G things here I don't know what they are Grav G for gravity I guess but yeah, you stick to the opposite 
side or some oh. that's no good also my useless robot died let's get a useful robot <laughs> it's funny that this is the most useful one because it's the most simple it just throws like a I think it's supposed to be like a Shoryuken or something. Or, is that what it's called? That... That ninja star. Oh, I was only... I'm only 300 away from an extra life, which is useless because you get infinite continues anyway. Actually, the extra life can help. Um, so, this boss should be really easy with this robot. I think... I don't know if he does the gravity trick here or just on the last part. But yeah, this is a pretty cool looking boss fight. It's like a phantom sort of thing. I like this one a lot. this might be the longest stage in the game except for the last the last stage is like three stages combined but it's kind of funny when you have this power up he does he can't even get to you to, that's I, I stopped for a second to let him get across the screen and he did his attack he wouldn't have been able to get the attack off this definitely reminds me more of an SNES era boss fight Oh, there we go with the gravity shift. So now he's made it so that I'm stuck to the roof and I can't get down. I think if you wait long enough, uh, it changes back. But I killed him and it doesn't matter. I guess I'm stuck on the roof forever now. That sucks for him. You can't just invert gravity like that, man. 